Hi everybody, this is uh, Ryan from Junior Pi and I wanted to showcase for you guys our latest project uh, to show you guys that we do actually do more than just blinking lights. Um, what we have here is a project that is a combination of a lot of individual elements um, all put together and uh, the idea was to take the SparkFun Inventor Kit and use only the parts in it and make a game. And the game that we've decided to make is uh, Pong, or One Person Pong. Uh, so real quick, going over the elements here, we have the 10K potentiometer that is used. Um, you'll see that when the potentiometer is adjusted, the paddle, which is here on the right-hand side, will, be, will go up and down based on the value um, of the potentiometer. So it's your standard circuit that's being read. Um, analog pin zero is being read. The value from the potentiometer and then the code takes that and adjusts the player's paddle position accordingly. Uh, next we have a push button that's uh, being pulled low by a 10k resistor which is am amongst all the wires here hidden in place and what happens is this is the um, reset button um, as well as the start button as you can see here so we press the button to start the game um, so a standard push button circuit. Uh, next element we have is the actual piezo uh, buzzer itself and this acts as the speaker for the game and you'll notice the little deflections of the ball all make uh, little bleeps when it hits the paddle it makes a bleep and when a point is scored or when the ball passes the player's paddle the uh, a score or pardon me a um, noise is made as well we also have three LEDs it's uh, each one of the games is to three so each um, time the ball passes the paddle um, an LED will blink a couple times and then stay on these are all wired in. Uh, we're using 10K resistors here just to make the LEDs not so bright. Uh, just a very, very dim red light will blink on and then stay on when a point has been scored. And then lastly here, um, because we're using the LCD screen, um, we needed to provide brightness, a voltage for brightness and a voltage for contrast. And because the kit only comes with one potentiometer, what we decided to do is we created uh, amongst the wires here, there's, there's two voltage divider circuits. Okay, if I can move these wires out of the way enough. Uh, two right there that you can see is um, a 10K resistor and a, and a 330 ohm resistor being used um, to provide, I believe, this is the brightness, I believe. And then there's another um, voltage divider circuit that's using three 330 ohm resistors in series along with a 10k resistor to provide a, a lower voltage um, and that is to control the contrast of the screen. So we played around with those values a little bit but um, using those voltage divider circuits we're able to get a nice brightness and contrast for the game. And yeah and then the rest of it's just um, Arduino code to define the ping uh, or pong logic pardon me as well as the pinging of the ball as it goes along moving the paddle and this and that. Um, we decided again to do everything using all the parts, well not all the parts, but all the parts that you see here are included inside of uh, Spark's, Spark Fun's Inventor Kit um, along with the code which you uh, can download from the link below um, via our website. So how the game works is, as the, game, as the uh, LCD says, press the button to start the game. So we press the button and it randomly pulls a direction for the ball. And what this is using is it's using custom characters um, that are being calculated and then displayed. So as you can see, I move the potentiometer and it moves the paddle. Okay, so here's the potentiometer as the ball's on the other end. Okay, so I move the potentiometer and the paddle goes up and down. Okay, so it starts off fairly slow. This can all be adjusted in the code. Um, but how we have it is every time the ball hits the player's paddle, um, the game speed increases of the ball by 10% and again you can change that percentage increase as well so it starts eventually getting harder and harder as the game progresses on we have the wall on the on the left side um, because we don't have if we had probably uh, or at least one other potentiometer we could easily do two person pong alright um, then obviously another potentiometer would control the paddle on the other side but in this case we just decided to do uh, just a one player pong Okay, so I'll let the ball go past this time. So you can hear the little noise, the LED goes on, and then the game restarts. And as you can see, 
So these are those are harder ones when the ball has uh, more of an angle to it. And those are just randomly picked. There's uh, there's limits for the minimum and maximum um, angle that the ball can take. Okay, obviously the the shallower it is, like in this game, the slightly easier it is. And um, and as you can see, uh, hopefully you notice now that the game is getting a little faster. We have the the piezo element providing a small little sound effects, and there we have it. Game over, blinks, and then it resets. Um, and again, so the code is obviously new. Uh, that's from us. Um, but again, the circuit itself is using all um, parts found in Spark Fun's Inventor Kit. So hopefully you guys like this. Um, I'm going to strip this down and make it, uh, put it on a full-size breadboard just, be, uh, just to make it a little bit easier. And I'll do a quick little video to show that. Um, but again, I wanted to do everything just using Spark Fun's parts and show you guys that this is possible. So, uh, so hopefully you enjoy it. Please provide comments down below. Send us feedback. Check out our webpage, www.jrpi.ca. And uh, yeah, that's it from us. Bye for now.